Okay, so let's talk about what the individual customer means to your repair shop or your organization as a manager or a business owner. There are a lot of numbers out there associated with customers and what their value is over the course of their lifetime. I've seen everything from $50,000 over the course of their lifetime to they're worth $250,000 each to my organization over the course of their lifetime. I'm challenged with the fact that you can back into any one of these numbers and, and that's fine, but I can't equate when you come walking through my door $50,000 with you, the person. I don't see a stack of money with two feet come walking through my door. I don't even know what $50,000 looks like in one place at one time. So I prefer to look at it like this. Let's say your organization closes on average 10 repair orders each day. On average 10 ROs a day. And on each one of those repair orders you've got billed on average one and a half hours of customer labor sales. We're going to ignore parts, parts gross, all the other incremental costs on that, on that invoice. We're just going to focus on what you've billed for customer labor. So 10 repair orders a day, one and a half hours average per repair order. Let's say you charge $80 an hour is your labor rate, and that's probably a reasonable average for most parts of the country. And let's say that your shop or your organization is open 50 weeks a year and five days a week. I know you may be open more than that, but 50 weeks a year, five days a week. If you crunch the math, you'll learn that you will make $300,000 by the end of the year just billing an hour and a half per RO at $80 an hour. $300,000 in customer labor sales. Now, what if I were to challenge you and your organization to increase that average of one and a half hours per repair order to two hours per repair order? Increase your average customer labor sales by a half hour per repair order. Could you do it? Most people, when I put this forth in class, their knee-jerk reaction is, yeah, I could do that. It's easy for many organizations, and they've got a dozen different ideas on how they would do it. But what does it do for your organization? If we were to increase just each RO by 0.5 hours, what does it do? Well, you math whizzes have already figured it out. 0.5 is one third of that hour and a half. You would increase your profit at the end of the year by $100,000. Instead of $300,000 in customer labor sales, you will have built $400,000 in customer labor sales. Now that would look good on anybody's books. So let's talk about how you can increase customer labor sales real easy without spending any money and while increasing your customer satisfaction.